to give uh, a straight um, victory for the day tigers would just be patriotic. So, but if you look at it, if you look at it critically, you know that it's a very tough one. Uh, this two U.S. always have one over Nigeria because at the political quality, they have so a higher quality than us, highly ranked than us. Uh, they're going for that ten Olympic games uh, title, world champions as well. Um, a lot of things. If you are trying to bring down a Jefferson, if you are trying to get your Wilson, you see how the grinder still will they have uh, a grinder there, you see how the Sabino there, so there are a lot of players you are trying to bring, who are you going to guard, really on the day, it will be worth thinking that whatever would um, cause a good result, will be as a result of um, the hunger, to change narrative, the data hunger to do well and to make a name for themselves that beating the U.S. is huge. You see what happened to the South Sudan? They almost defeated the U.S. Um, at the pre-approach game ahead of the Olympics. And it was close. Really. So anybody going this um, the U.S., you have to double up. You have to be at all. Talking about the third um, yesterday, Coach Red says that our third part of us being a bit of a struggle. But yesterday, it was happened. They limited the Canadians to just hold the game down. So they only go here as much as they tried, but they took a five point lead into the, into the uh, locker room, but only scored only five points. So now is watching our team, she's looking at O's. You're looking at areas to work on, like yes, one who points out that we're also bounded. In as much as we won the game, we're also we bounded. So that's where we work on and make sure that we don't get out of the West. We don't get to have so many turnovers. Like, hey, even though we won that game yesterday, we had so many turnovers. We had like almost 16 uh, like turnovers in the game. Please feel a quality team or a better team will punish you to go the chance. Realistically, we don't have a chance. That's just it. we don't have a chance. But the little one percent chance that we have is the hunger, mm. resilience that can get us through. The US can have day, and that will be it for us. Just like the game against Australia, Australia a terrible day, a bad day, we we'll put them up on presence, force them into 25 or 26 turnovers. And that was the edge for us, and our baskets were dropping. Another thing, offensively, which, and that is why we are putting the U.S. Because looking at the difference between U.S. France and for us, the Nigerian team, we caught the lowest, and that is why we moved from second to third. And that defeat of France to Australia, we caught us, and that's why we are facing um, U.S. To, uh, to, uh, this Wednesday. So if we had scored more. And don't wear them off as much as we are good defense. Yeah. This is US. Whereas we are going to be going through this emotional, <laughs> yeah. emotional issue of I will play in the US because mentally enough, I don't know how mentally they are ready. They might be mentally, so that is one coach Renan needs to also work on. You need to talk to your girls, you need to brace up. It is you, but don't need to be their job as five players on the court as you are. The Olympians, like you are, they might have won the Olympics, nine, five on court, just like you are. So I think for them, um, it's just five of those players that have played at the Olympics before, and a few of them that have played against the US before. So all of them have played in the US like in this stage before i don't have the stage to catch up with them so those are the areas that could right now mentally psychologically go again show them that yes but out of that if there is one person ready for that game is it in carlo she yeah. has faced them time and time again yeah. she's always ready for them she's always here whenever she plays in the us yeah. it's like she's playing against the team that she has the point to go um, she's like, oh, from the US, so I really don't know, but she's someone that we can count on the floor, lead the team, and it will be counseled from that. Realistically, okay. we don't have a chance, but one percent chance that we have is that we do all we need to do 
in this letter means what logically the hope that is you have to be okay thank you so much uh queen uh of course um for joining us on the show this morning uh thank you so much i do of course enjoy the rest of your day in lagos uh so hopefully the data aggress of course can somehow spring a surprise against the americans on wednesday night uh that was queen john Mosef, the communications manager at reverse upas basketball basketball club of portacot